His name is John. It's not here. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna go back for it. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna tear that plane apart for you. All right, first, but hold this. Thank you. You goober. Daddy thinks he's so funny. It's because I am funny. Josh. Josh. John. Josh. 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 Where are you? Josh, where are you? Can you hear me, Josh? John. I can't Josh, hear you. Right I can't hear. I can't hear him. Where? There he is. Welcome to Utah. <laughs> that was my favorite niece. Oh, you remember Uncle Joshy? Yeah, your Uncle Oshkosh Bagosh? Okay, Mr. John Jacob Jingle. All right, I'm done with the nicknames. Hey, race you the car. Whoa. <laughs> Go ahead. There's a whole lot of something going on around here. But I can't tell from the gate inside here. It ain't easy. So that was doctor school. You got anybody open yet? No, not yet. <laughs> Stuff's harder than it looks, though. Between the books and the diapers, I am sleeping at least a few times a week. Right, Ems? Is it? Uh, who are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, he's on some crazy new schedule, I think. <laughs> a 36-hour day would make my life a lot easier. What have you been up to? Oh, just working school, trying to transfer out and get to a different environment, I guess. Oh, you're still the kid that wants to get away from home, huh? Yeah. Well, I get it. But for the record, it'd have been nice if I could have stayed. Mm. I'm glad you're still here, though. I'm home. Wouldn't be home without you. Focus on driving. Yeah, I'll try to. Well, you're almost home. What are you talking about? Hey, Emerson, there's a box back there. It's a uh, brown rectangular. I'd send that up. That'd be great. Oh, wow. She's out? That was quick. She's a little juggernaut. No way. You brought him? <laughs> yes, I did. Yes. I can't believe you still have this. Does it still even work? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Oh. You know it's heavy duty if it survives dad. <laughs> Those things will be good for another six generations, man. This is awesome. Yeah, thinking we got a little bit of time. We got all this gear just sitting here right now, and Nutty Putty just opened back up. Well, so maybe be a... Nutty Putty's open again? Yeah, so I think it'd be a great opportunity to show Emily <laughs> her great love for her by forgetting everything I'm saying right now. Damage is done, Josh. It's hmm. too late now, but I get him for the rest of the trip. Yes, yes, it is on. Yeah. You know, we have the whole rest of the vacation to act like kids. Let's chill tonight. And then maybe tomorrow before we have to go back to Virginia. After Thanksgiving, we'll be too fat to fit in the cave. Besides, you know Mom, she's not going to let us out of her sight once she has the whole flock under one roof again. You're trying to hide it, but I know you want to go. Hey, dude, I get it. I mean, caves are scary, so if, I mean, if you don't want to go, it's, it's whatever. You do what you got to do. You can be more obvious what you're doing. Mm-hmm, sure. I'm not scared. You know that, right? I mean, I know it's a cave we both want to go to forever, but, like... Hey, I said you could go. All right, I'm in. Let's do it. Yes! 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 Woo! It's on! Yes! Okay. But for the record, that was not a win that you just had, okay? You didn't manipulate me. I had to think things through because I'm an adult, I'm responsible. So I right just make go I mean, go home. I'm not scared of the cave. There's no way to be better in a cave. It doesn't make any sense. Oh. Oh, 
All right. Hey, what up? You want to change out the batteries in your headlamp just to be safe? We're only going for a few hours, so. Mm. All right, fine. Yeah. Yep. Hey, just uh, give me a call when you're ready to come home, okay? I'd okay. like to talk about some stuff. Oh, thanks. Stuff? Yeah, stuff. What kind of stuff? Oh, just, you know, awesome Thanksgiving stuff, but I want to talk about it tonight. About what? It's married people stuff, man. Whatever. You wouldn't understand. Don't want to know. I'm scared. I have no idea what you're talking about, but you have my attention. Good. Then be quick. Okay. Ooh. I don't want to lose this in there. Take that. Ah. It's going in the diaper bag? I've never seen that again. Stop! Oh, Why don't you buy me a new one, then? All right, you win. I love you. I love you, too. Have fun. I will. Drive safe. See you later. I miss you. You ready to go? Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Dude, I can't believe it. I didn't think they'd ever open up this cave again. Yeah, it's been like two years since they closed it. Only started letting people back in in May. And they make you jump through hoops for these permits. Permits? Yeah, dude. It's like a two-week wait to get them. It's a big gamble digging M's about me, Cal. <laughs> dude, you're predictable. You gotta be known for something. <laughs> you coming? Yeah. What do you think? Six feet till it opens back up? Whoa, are you crazy? Come on, man. I'm the one that's scared of everything, right? <laughs> so what we're looking for is the birth canal. It should be around here somewhere. This is even one of the easier squeezes because everybody has to do it. I give you the slide. Let's do this. <laughs> this place is unreal. Uh, it's warm too. Yeah, did a lot of reading on this monster before. Uh, I got, I got the permits. Yeah. I guess they haven't even explored all of it yet. Back before they closed it, they were getting like 5,000 people a year. It's a lot of people going to a cave that has no end. Right? They say why it's called Nutty Putty? Yeah. I guess as you get deeper into the cave, uh, you'll see these nodules of chert that are seeping out of the rock. Right? And as you get deeper in, it gets really humid, so it makes it soft. So you can work it between your fingers, and it don't, like feels like you're handling honey. Rocks that turn into honey? Are you kidding me? We have to do that. Right? Yeah. Well, uh, I don't think... It actually turns into honey, and I think you gotta, gotta get pretty deep, too. I don't know. Well, I could be messing it all up in my head. Well, the more you know. Bum, 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 bum. That's absolutely not the jingle, but nice try. <laughs> Whatever, man. Whatever. Gotta be honest, I'm impressed with your suddenly random knowledge. I'm just reciting what I read right off of the webpage. Ah, take the wind, Josh. Come on, man. I really love it when you accidentally show your awesomeness. You don't need to clown me. I'm not clowning you. I'm not. You know, I'm only good at anything because I get pushed. Okay? Like, in, when I was a high school kid and you were just the kid, you know, you used to show me up when you hung with the older guys. But it made me look great. You know? Like, remember that one time at scout camp where I came with that mascot thing? Oh, yeah, yeah, beef. Yeah, the yeah. beef. <laughs> you know, you went and you carved it on all the trees for your camp, and it looked awesome. Yeah, yeah, it did. It did. It looked awesome. You That's know, a nice. large chunk of who I am is because, you know, of you. <sighs> And that's a good thing, though. Hopefully I return the favor, even slightly. Yeah. Yeah. Let's keep going. 
proud of you, I am, Josh Walker. <laughs> you can't just let a moment be a moment, can you, man? I can't. <laughs> it's getting harder to do, too. My throat hurts. Oh, wait up. Be around here somewhere. So worth looking for? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's supposed to be really cool. It's okay. I'm enjoying this, man. I missed you. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. Here. Yeah. There you go. Thanks. Okay. Should be close. Let's split up. Let's do it. Yeah. Scream like a pterodactyl if you find it. <laughs> Spaz. Oh, man. First crawl is nothing. Josh! Josh! Josh, are you near me? Josh, can you hear me? Josh! Are you kidding me with this? Come on, Josh. Josh!
Josh! Josh! Josh! Josh! John? John! John, I, I can't hear you. Josh, are you near me? Wait, what? Wait, I'm here. What do you mean? I don't know what you're about. <laughs> row, row, row your boat gently down. Merrily, 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 like oh, there you are. a dream. <sighs> Where did you go? Dream! Got it? <sighs> of all the songs you could be singing right now. Oh, holy crap. Holy <sighs> 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 oh, crap, man. All the tunnels you could have gone down. <sighs> oh, this is the one. John? Yeah. John? Oh. Uh. Uh. Yeah, I don't wow. know. Uh, just don't come down here, okay? Okay. Can you reach me to pull? Uh, uh not with my hands. That's not a good idea. Um, let me try something else, okay? Okay. Okay. I just, I can't even figure out how you got down there. I'm actually kind of impressed, though. Like, I'm not even mad. Josh, you can't come down here. You gotta stop. I'm not gonna let you sit there. I just gotta figure this out. Um, can you turn it all? I'm completely stuck. Okay. I'm gonna wrap my legs around you and pull, okay? Got it. All right. One. Two, three. Okay. All right. We'll do something else. I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna pull you out of here, all right? On three, I pull, you push. Right? What? Hey. Are you okay? Are you hurting? No, no, I'm, I'm fine. But why not, right? <laughs> yeah. For real, you, you, you're good? I'm better. Okay. All right. All right. On three. Huh? Yeah. One, two, three. No, crap. We're gonna need help, John. No. Make a mistake, come on. Yeah. Okay, that's probably smart. Yeah, just go, Josh. I'll be fine. No, John, John, I can't. I can't leave you down here. Josh, go. Don't I'm think. getting you out. Just go. Okay, I'm not going anywhere. All right. So don't think about me. I'll, I'll still be here. Just, just don't think. Just run. Hey, it's okay. No, it's okay. I'm okay. It's okay. Okay. 
you can get in, you can get out. That's logical, right? I don't feel okay. Okay. Don't wanna knock you off. Look at that's gonna do. Come uh, on, well, John. You actually know what you're doing. I'm like everybody else that gets stuck down here, right? Okay. Breathe. Breathe. Buddy, you've been down here a while. Okay. Did Josh find you? Yeah. Me and a whole bunch of other people. Rescue crews are here. I'm Susie, by the way. We're gonna get you out of here. Look at he split. Yeah. Hi, Susie. John. Uh, did you say a whole bunch of people? Oh, man. Josh must think this is his fault. Can we talk about this guy stuck in a cave under me? <laughs> he tends to beat himself up is all. <laughs> really, it's a, a my whole family thing. Uh, poor kid. Right. Well, mm. you can be that where you weren't, but I'm going to check up on you. Hey, can I, uh, can I cut some of your pants off? Yeah. Might give us some more wiggle room. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> My wife is gonna love this one. Oh, uh, yeah? <laughs> she's gonna think I'm getting fresh. <laughs> uh, she's gonna love it because she hates these jeans. <laughs> they tend to hold on to things till they're way dead, and uh, I thought I had a few more miles left. <laughs> Do you have a lot of saliva building up? Uh, yeah. Mouth keeps filling up with it. I feel like if I don't keep spitting constantly, it'll go up into my nose. Okay, just checking. <sighs> this angle isn't good for my body. I know. It's a curse of being in medical school. Whoa, yeah? Yeah. Alright, well keep us up to date on how you're feeling, I mean... You're gonna know how to diagnose you better than any of us. Unfortunately. Wish I could get this a little tighter. Or a little higher up. Mm -hmm. Hey, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna see if this and some of our guys can get you out. Are you ready? Oh. <sighs> Am I ever? Good. Mm -hmm. All right, give it a pull! <sighs> Okay, okay, hold up. Hold up. That was a, that was just a test, mm -hmm. so don't worry. All right? Okay. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go talk to some of the guys about seeing if we can get some more leverage. You're leaving? No, uh, we'll, we'll get somebody here to be with you, okay? I just gotta, I gotta talk to the rest of my team. Okay. We're gonna get you out, John. Okay? Okay. Oh, wait, wait. Hey, uh, Susie. Uh, thank you for coming down. Thank you for coming down here. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure you had better things to do the day before Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> better today than tomorrow. I <laughs> mean, some of us wouldn't be able to fit in here after some turkey and stuff. I mean, we'd all be real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mm. Hey, can you can you reach your light? Uh, yeah, I think so. Well, I just yeah. 
Depends on what you can handle, you know? Mm. You might want to conserve the battery on that thing as long as you can. Yeah. <laughs> Got it, okay, yeah. seen anything this technical this tough 26 to year old in. john jones went to byu and was in his second year of med school outdoors and explored caves before but this one was different he's stuck head down that would tell me that he was probably still on his way in the rescuers had to squeeze through narrow twisting passageways if we put other people in that same location they could likewise get stuck or get hurt Thanks. And will someone get a hold of the news station and get rid of that chopper? I can barely hear myself think. How long you been standing there? How long? How's our boy doing down there? He's been trapped at least three hours. He's got near zero mobility, and it's next to impossible to get a rope on him anywhere that gives us any purchase. Well, how deep is he? Pretty much all the way down in one of the unmapped parts, about 100 feet below ground through a bunch of tunnels. I thought Sidla closed that place off. They did. It's been closed to the public, but it looks like his brother got a special permit to get in. Sheriff Hodgson. Uh, Dr. Doug Murdoch, I'm with Trauma Critical Care, Utah Valley Medical. How's John doing physically? It's hard to say. He's gurgling a lot. What kind of angle is his body at? Uh, he's pretty much all the way down, maybe a 70 degree angle. Uh, body, it, it, you can't survive that long. Your blood has to pump backwards, circulation slows, capillaries leak. I mean, things start to fail pretty quickly. Well, how long's he got? Considering how long he's already been trapped, about, he's gonna get delirious in another two hours. Six to eight hours from that, he starts to, his body starts shutting down. So, once we get him out, is he gonna be okay? There'll be toxins build up in his blood. So if you take him out at the wrong angle, that could rush to his heart and kill him. So the faster we act, the better his chances. Let's get our guy and get him down there. Please taking point. Aaron? Are you sure he's ready again? I mean, he hasn't been the same since Crandall. Yeah, none of us have been. I know, and he thinks he should have been in there. This feels all too similar. Shouldn't we tap someone else? Aaron's the best we got. You know that. Besides that, he loves that place. He's been down there mapping it for years. That place is unique. It's got to be Aaron. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm heading down. What's the guy's name? John Jones. OK. How are you feeling? Good. You sure? Yeah. See you down there. Hey, Aaron, you know this could be a while. It doesn't look like you're taking a lot with you. You've been in this cave, Susie. No, she doesn't like to be stuffed. Whatever you think, Aaron. Look, Susie gave us an idea of what we're working with down there. So I need you to get to him, find a way to get him free, and when the time comes, we're going to have to get real creative on this one. I'm not coming out without him. John Jones. Feeling, buddy? 
Can you get me out of here? I'm kind of done with being on my head. Question is, what are you doing on your head? I wish it was a longer and more entertaining story. I bet you do. I bet you do. The real story is going to be the one about how we got you out of here. John's body is too big to just be pulled out. He's so deep, it's hard to get any leverage. It looks like when he went in, he sucked in air to squeeze into where he's trapped. So if we're going to get him out, he's going to have to do it again and push while we pull. But there's a problem. The tunnel bends right against his back. Meaning what? Meaning we'll probably have to break his legs to get him out. That bad, bad, huh? Eh. I've been a part of a lot of search and rescues that seem near impossible. We'll figure this out, man. No doubt in my mind. Okay. Here. You don't need this right now. Probably thirsty. Yeah. Yeah. Drink coming down. Got it. Thank you. Is that lemon? I always wondered who bought that awful flavor, and now I know it's you search and rescue guys. Hey, I didn't buy it, all right? <laughs> I get what you mean, though. It's disgusting. It tastes like dish soap or something. But hey, when we get on the surface, you get me a bigger budget, I'll come get the other guys with, uh, I don't know, blue, purple, whatever they want. <laughs> yeah. You know, I, my legs feel looser. I think I can try <laughs> No, 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 me. <clears throat> What's up, man? It's nice to see a face. Listen, we're gonna get you out of here, okay? Oh, sorry about that. You kicked dirt all over the place. Hey, it's okay. Cleanliness is impossible in a wild beauty like this one. Besides, it's crazy with Wall's getting soft and hard. It's like this cave is alive sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> Don't try it upside down. You start seeing things. You, you seeing ghosts? I don't know. Hey, relax. <laughs> And, uh, that's what you call it, right? Just doing the same thing and expecting a different result. That's the definition of insanity, right? Einstein, I think, huh? Brilliant. Being stuck in here has nothing to do with my waistline, does it? <laughs> well, I wasn't gonna say anything, but, uh... <laughs> Did you just call me fat? Uh, <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> Once we get up there, if you need a workout, buddy, I'm game. You promise? I promise. We were able to uh, send one of our cavers in close enough to him that they were able to check him. Nutty Putty Cave is in an extremely narrow offshoot known as the Birth Canal. His body plugging a narrow tunnel 10 to 14 inches wide. Anytime you're in a position where you don't have control over when you come and go, that's got an effect on a person emotionally. There's still some more tight spots in the cave. Gravity was really working against him, and he didn't have any leverage. All right, give it a tug. Uh, uh. It's as humid as hell down there. The moisture's constantly working on the outer layer of rock. It makes it both slick and soft. If we can't get those anchors in far enough, we've got a real problem. We haven't tried cutting the rock free from around him, and, and there's other options. Like what? They got the peanut oil? What guys? Another rescue agency ordered four gallons of peanut oil, hoped that they could pour it on him and he'd just slip free. It's either that or drilling. 
The time it'll take to get the equipment down there, it's going to take five times as long to set up a good pulley system. We don't have that kind of time. Sheriff. Sure, Cole. Okay. Okay? It's gonna be all right. Look, I'm not leaving here without you. Okay, but when the time comes, I need every ounce of energy you've got to help me push. Can you be with me on that? <coughs> yeah. Man, your job really sucks. <laughs> you know, I thought that about everyone else's job. I get to visit cool places and help people, but granted right now, yeah, this really sucks. Yeah. So what's your track record anyway? Like, how many of you tried to free and how many actually made it out? Like a percentage? How many? Well, we all go for 100%. It just doesn't always go that way. You know, uh, I can actually, uh, go for some more, like, Gatorade right now. <laughs> you, uh, you sure it's not gonna make matters worse? This stuff really isn't that bad anymore. All right. Hold on. Just a second. All right. Coming down. Stuff really isn't that bad. I still think it tastes like dish soap, but it's becoming my favorite. Well, that's a good sign. <laughs> hey. Hey, Aaron. Yeah. How are you doing? I'm great, man. You good? Hey, don't worry about me, okay? <laughs> you just focus on breathing. You just breathe. Very slow, slow and easy. Well, I got a little bit of time here. Why don't you tell me about yourself, John? Where are you from? Oh, and uh, make sure you take a deep breath before you start talking. I want you to breathe slow and easy for now. Slow and easy. Uh, 
I've had a pretty normal life. Kind of boring when it all comes down to it. Just your average guy. Get it back! Ah, oh, come on, John. <laughs> There's no such thing as average. Everybody's got a story. So me. I'm from St. George. I have four brothers and two sisters. But with my little brother, Josh, I just did what any older brother does. That's mine. You can't take it for this. Make life as miserable as possible. Is that all you got? You're supposed to be an example to your brothers. Take care of them, teach them stuff. But I had this idea that it was my job to help toughen them up, you know? Maybe I had a little too much fun doing that part. I still can't figure out how my mom and dad did it. It was nuts. I look at it now, and it's not, how did you do it, but more, show me how you did it. They're amazing. And man, we broke everything. You know, it's funny. We would fight and tease, but we were always there for each other. Josh is the closest to my age, so naturally we did the most together, for better or worse. I'm probably the most competitive and crazy one in the family. Played basketball and football in high school. And thanks to my family, I had the largest fan group of them all. So tired of that. What's that sound? It's just the drills. I got the first two in the position. Let's get you more to drink, okay? Okay. Coming down. Okay. <clears throat> Go easy, dude. Yeah. <sighs> It's actually pretty good now. Uh, it's a, yeah, it's a camelback, right? Seeing one of those takes me back to my mission. Uh, I think it's the first time I used one. Mission, huh? Where'd you go? Ecuador. How about you? Look at you assuming things. You know, not everyone in Utah is Mormon. That's my bad, man. You gotta ask, though, right? There's just tons out here. And I live in Virginia where just saying a mission would throw most people off. <sighs> yeah, you can't really assume anymore. Vegas, Spanish speaking. <laughs> Thanks, man. I thought I killed the conversation there. <laughs> Nobody wants to be that guy, you know? So you had to suffer through Spanish? Uh, yeah, it was pretty rough. No, no, it just sucked. No, it sucked. Do you still speak it? Well, I can. I sound terrible, though. Did you ever, like, dream in Spanish? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's funny. Uh, you spent so much time out there. Talking about life and death with anybody who will listen. 
try to uh, teach about something we may not truly understand until we die. And now, boom, here I am. John? And I'm pretty sure I literally have been staring death in the face. Hey, John, promise me you won't talk like that again. It's just... I... We just don't need to talk about it. I'm pretty sure you get to talk life and death with people like me all the time, right? Well, I try to avoid it. To be honest with you, man, I haven't really been into the church thing for a while. Really, any kind of church. This wasn't your thing, or...? I don't know. I'm just living my life a day at a time. Just trying to do my job right, help people. They can learn about all that life and death stuff when they're on the surface when we're not involved. So, <clears throat> helping people. Look at that. You believe in something, right? Yeah, sure. you're gonna start preaching to me <laughs> no teach their own it's fun to hear other people's thoughts on this stuff though probably sounds lame to most but to be honest it uh it makes me feel at peace <clears throat> i mean that's the reason why we do all this church stuff anyway right to feel good well, i guess so probably be good if more people treated it like that you know as long as you find what makes you happy. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of the endless search for everyone, it seems, and every time... <laughs> wow! <laughs> Look at you sneaking that in on me. Man. Well, let me save you first, and then you can do your rescue on me. <laughs> no. I'm just conversing is all. <laughs> that was obviously... Your suggestion, so I'll be sticking you to it. Uh, something else, dude. Come on. That sounds like it's going well. Yeah, it better be. So what brought you down here anyways? I mean, I guess I'd assume you're pretty used to caving. What tipped you off? Well, you're sporting some fantastic vintage headlamps. Besides, most people are too afraid to get down this far. I guess I could never turn down an adventure. That's probably how I ended up in Virginia. Really? What's in Virginia? I'm going to school to be a pediatric cardiologist. Oh, so, uh, so you're working with kids? Yeah. Well, at least their hearts. What made you want to do that? I mean, isn't that like 50 years of school? Give or take. <laughs> my... My sister, uh, my younger sister had heart surgery when she was four. And uh, I wanted to. You know, it's sad. You have to be on the edge of losing everything, everything to really open your eyes and see the beauty in the simple things. Hey, I thought we were gonna talk like that, John. I've been studying to be a doctor the past few years and I can hear my own breathing, man. And... Yeah, I can't sugarcoat things for you. Obviously, John, I know this is bad, but you're gonna get out of here, you have to. I wish I could believe any fib you could give me. I don't wanna die down here. I told you I could hear but really. Please just stop. John, look at me. Why did I spend more time with my wife? No, hey, John, look at me. Listen, look at me. Eyes on me. Right here. Come on. 
I believe you. Such a John thing to do. Always pushing himself just a little too hard. Well, that's why he's so strong. And that's what's gonna get him through this. He's gotten himself into some crazy situations before, right? Rock climbing, scuba diving. Getting married? Yeah, that's when he's not getting out of. I don't care how deep of a hole he crawls down. Yeah. The guy on the phone told me there's already a bunch of people there working to get him out. And as soon as I hung up, I knew it was gonna be okay. And I still know it. They're getting him out. Look, Em, I've just, I've just been down there, and I know how it is, and I don't want to take away hope. He will, Josh. He will get out. How do you know? Because. Because he has to. Well, all right. You're obviously a stud. You're in med school, which takes serious foresight to make work, let's be honest. I bet that, uh... Wife of yours feels pretty lucky that she snagged you, huh? Huh. You got it backwards. I had to win her over. Yeah. She made me fight for it. Really? Like a, a fight, huh? <laughs> yeah. I'd have preferred a fist fight. Would have been less painful. <laughs> Easier on my heart. <laughs> Wait, 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 you gonna leave me hanging right there? Come on. You gotta tell me about this girl that completely owned you. Uh, she's, uh, she's everything. It's one thing to find a girl that, you know, you want to marry. And it's something completely different to find a girl that you have to marry. <coughs> Damn. Uh. This is the first time I met you. At a crosswalk. I'm sorry? We realized we we're going to the same class together. And you're an Ocum too? Must be a glutton for punishment. I'm John. Emily. Emily. I immediately wished I had something more to say, but my mind drew a complete blank. You were just so beautiful. I'm taking off. Where are you going? Home. Wow. Mr. Let's Pull an All-Nighter is leaving early. A little distracted. Sorry. See you at class. Oh! I am so sorry. Is this like a normal thing for you, running into things? Uh, no, no, Destiny did this. I, I swear, I'm usually like really, I'm nimble. Yeah, for you, Destiny's kind of a jerk. He asked me, taking away your grace, throwing you at cars, now me. Yeah, I got a serious issue with that Destiny guy too, I guess, taking away my nimble, my ability to be nim in words. I'm a funny person, I swear I am, but funny John was gone. But I was determined to make her laugh. Make the girl smile, and you got a chance, right? This is cool. Uh, orange. That's... You in kindergarten or something? 
Yeah, I had no game whatsoever. And then finally... Wait! Uh, we're going fishing at midnight at the Provo Golf Course, and you should, you'll love it. You should totally come. I had no idea where that came from. We weren't going fishing. I didn't even know who we was. I'm 90% sure there's no fish in any of the ponds that we'd have to trespass to get to. Really? Unfortunately, yeah. I'm so in. What? Okay. I pulled together the fastest fake tradition yes. ever. This is crazy. You guys do this all the time? Yeah. What else are you going to do in the middle of the night in Provo? Actually, I kind of took you as a bookworm. I'm pretty sure I've seen you somewhere in that library every time I go. Wait, you've seen me before? <laughs> yeah, you're always there. It's not like I can miss you. What was with this whole Destiny stuff earlier then? This whole time you were tailing me. Okay, Destiny. First off, that's your word. And second, Destiny for you was a well-timed hit that nearly ruined my research paper. Yeah, sorry about that. Anyways, now here we go. It is dark outside, so be careful when you cast. Because okay. you may hook somebody. All right, got there it. Go. So, cast her in the hook in the water, right? Yeah. You've never fished before, have you? No. <laughs> but I've seen it in the movies, so... Yeah, that's good enough. That's okay. That's absolutely fine. All right. So... Jeez! Calm down! Stop, sorry, 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 stop. sorry, sorry. Okay, I think you're hooked to the ground. Everybody, you guys good? Back there? Okay, we're good. Okay. Yeah. All right, let me slowly bring okay. it up. Okay. I'm sorry. Don't say sorry to me. I mean, you can... You already said sorry to that. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I, I just... I don't like not knowing how to do things, and this is just... I don't not like not knowing how to do things? That's a fantastic double negative. Yeah. So uh, you're good at that. <laughs> Can you just show me how to do this so I don't go nuts or hook somebody or I don't know? Well, yeah, I can. Um, we really got to focus on your technique, so I probably should. Yeah, you can do that. My game was so on. I couldn't get a good word out of my mouth in the morning, but I had her in my arms that night. Let go. I did it! You did it! Ah, I did it! I can fish! I can fish. <laughs> you can fish! <laughs> Usually you need a fish to prove that, but you don't. She figured out how to fish, and we went fishing so many times. I mean, she never caught a thing, but it was never about the fish. Absolutely. Nothing to do with Nothing you. Nothing to do with me, now we... I bear no take my tag. There it is. I bear no and I'm all right. And that was that. It seemed like Emily and I just suddenly happened. Two weeks dating and we were inseparable. It was like one of those movies where everything just works. The day didn't feel right if she wasn't with me, and we just did everything together. But those movies where everything just works, they don't exist. Something always happens. It's just for a little while. It's four months. An entire semester. Okay, think of it this way. You can get back to living in the library, and when I get back, my Spanish will be almost as good as yours. Even better. None of that worked. Her Spanish was awful, and I went insane waiting by the computer. Bye. See you. Actually, I did go a little insane. I finally had a chance to sing a song I'd been writing for her while she was in Spain. In that setting, under those lights, Emily looked incredible. There was no going back. I knew I had to ask. I had to try. It had felt right to ask that day, and I just had to go through with it. What in the world are you doing? I apologize for my voice. I was shaking the entire time. <laughs> it's fine. You're perfect. I love you, Ems. I love you. Marry me, Ems. What happened to waiting a little bit longer? I mean... Oh, I know. I know, I know, and I get it, okay? And it, good heavens, we're young, you know, and I know it's hard to step in on so many things that you want to do, dreams that you have, but... After Spain... What changed? I don't know. I just... Uh, 
I just feel that if I let you go again, then I won't get another chance to marry you. Now, wait a minute. I mean, if it's not going to work in a year or 18 months from now, how would rushing it right now be right? No, it's not like that. I, I swear, whatever you say now, I'm with you. Okay, I'm behind you 100%. If you think we should wait, then I'll wait. But I just got to ask. I've never had a feeling that's this strong. So, Ems, will you marry me? I'm sorry. I just can't. Whoa, 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 wait. She said no? Yeah. Well, technically, she didn't really say anything, I guess. What? And, and you, you wrote that song for her and, uh, and the event over the city, and it was just nothing. Yeah. I don't really have a good voice, though. No. It only makes sense. You gotta fight for a girl like that. The fight is right, man. Jeez. Since Tuesday night, rescuers struggled against the unforgiving topography of Nutty Putty Cave. One of the most popular caves in Utah, but its narrow passages have also made it one of the most dangerous. Where he is trapped, he is on a bend, so there's no way to really get a hold on him to be able to pull him directly straight back. It was a small lip of rock at a critical bend. If you pulled against it, you were pulling like against a fish hook. Good work, Bryce. Jason, how you holding up? Look, guys, we're going on 20 hours straight here. So if anyone's losing their edge, there's no shame in admitting it. Nobody's resting until John's out of there. All right, then. Let's get back at it. Yeah, let's go. Authorized personnel. Hey, authorized personnel only. How's it looking, Sheriff? We're getting close. Look, I appreciate you wanting to be here. It's a zoo. The best thing you can do to help your brother is just lay back. Uh, I understand I'll get out of your way, but Emily needs to stay. Who's Emily? She's the one you're saving John for. Listen, we know you're working hard, and we really don't want to be in your way, but she's been waiting for hours. Emily? Nice to meet you. I'm Tom. Thank you so much for everything that you guys are doing. I know you're all working really hard. How's he doing? Is he doing OK? Yeah, we got someone down there with him at all times. You know, I know I can't do anything to help. I just want to be there. That's all. I just I just want to be there when he gets out. I just want to see him. How long can he last down there? I mean, he's been down there a long time. I'd be lying if I didn't tell you the strain on his body is enormous. It'd sure do him good to hear your voice. You could do that? Steve. Let him know she's here. Emily? Hey. Deep breaths. Where is she? When can hey. I talk to her? Radio's not going to get through the rock. They're going to spool down a line, rig up a comm system for you. OK? Just a minute. Can you, can you tell her I'm sorry? I, I shouldn't have come down here. I'm, I'm so sorry to put her through this. You can tell all that to her yourself. All right, it's just a few more minutes. That's it. I hate this game. 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 This is a stupid game. I hate this game. I hate this game. I hate this game. I hate this game. Come on, buddy. I hate this game. I hate this game. Hey, it's OK. It's OK. Hey, hey. I need you to focus on your breathing, okay? That'll help. I know that sounds weird. Just focus on it. In and out. It'll help. She's here. Just a few more minutes. I'm so sorry, Emily. I'm so sorry. Hey, deep breaths, John. Deep breath. Okay? And we're fine. 
don't want to hear her voice. I know. I know. You will. You will. And it... You left me hanging, honestly. <laughs> I want to know how this girl got a second go at you, man. I mean, I know that if I got stood up like that, I would have just set sail. How'd your family take it? She, uh... uh, uh trust me. Uh, my family didn't take it well. My brothers have very strong opinions. And they're very vocal. <laughs> Emily became enemy number one, but I wasn't gonna give up. I actually liked it. Dating before seemed too easy. I was scared to mess up this perfect, natural flow to marriage. I felt loose after the proposal. I was going to have to earn it now, and I loved the challenge. My family? Not so much. Hey. Hey, Mom's just making sure you're coming to the house for dinner this weekend. Yeah, totally planning on it. Awesome. Hey, what you doing? Let's do a movie or something. Not tonight. Maybe later? Well, what are you doing this late? You don't have school and work and... John? Are you with Emily right now? John? Why in the world would you spend another second with that girl? She embarrassed you so bad, man. I mean, that's a cold-hearted woman, John. Only a cold, evil heart from the depths of... Hey! Hey! Wow, having a tough night, are you, Josh? All right, hang on, hang on, hang on. Can she hear me? Because good. Because she needs to learn how to appreciate a... Yeah. yeah! What? Yeah, I'm pretty sure she can hear everything you're saying right now. Yeah. Great. Love you. Love you too. That was Josh. Yeah? He says hi. You gotta give up on her, John. Yeah, she's giving you hell, bro. Joshua, come on. Hell's not nearly a strong enough word to describe what your brother's going through right now. Message received, guys. Jeez. And please just let me enjoy another fantastic meal made by my mama bear. <laughs> Protect me. All we're saying is that there are a whole lot more fish in the sea. Yeah. There's only one Emily. And there's only one John. If she can't see that, then maybe she's not the one for you. I told them I'd give it until Christmas. If she didn't say yes by then, I'd give it up. Do you think that you could help me with that chemistry quiz tonight? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Hello? Ems, hold on. Uh... Ems, uh, I've told you everything that was in my heart. And I knew you had your doubts about me and about us. And I, I know as long as I could spend all the days that I have on this earth with you, then those days would be good days. Great days. They'd be great because they would be ours. And I couldn't imagine any future more wonderful than one that had you in it. Looking at me the same way Don't that I look at you. No, I have so much to say. And I have this ring, and I, I, and I have a list. John. I have a list of John. words, and I'm Stop. yearning. I want to get married. You want to get married? I know. <laughs> it didn't feel right before, right? But it feels right now, and marriage is a big thing. It's a huge thing, and I can't just say yes, or I couldn't say yes, but I mean, I say yes now, and okay, I shouldn't have done that, but seriously, marriage is huge, and we're really young, you know, and I don't know, I'm, I'm really nervous. 
John, just please just say something because you're the one that talks like this and now I'm the one that... You want to get married. Right now, there's nothing else that I want in my life. <laughs> right now? Right now. Right now. <laughs> I'm not gonna miss my window. Okay. <laughs> How are you? Are you doing okay? Yeah. Fine. I'm so much better now than I was a minute ago. <laughs> Thanks for coming down. How are you? How is the family? John, stop. <laughs> stop. Stop it. Let's just focus on getting you out of there, okay? Yeah. I'm so sorry for putting you through this. I shouldn't. I should be down here, forgive me. I miss you. John, I'm pregnant. <laughs> This was a surprise. Oh, Ebs, I love you so much. I love you. You have to get back up here, okay? Because we're going to tell everybody together. I know. I know. I got to get out of here. I love you. I'm so sorry. I love you so much. I'll be up soon. I love you. I love you so much. John? Emily. Emily, I love you. Eb! John! Emily! I love you. I love you. Get me out of here! Get me out of here! I want to get out of here. I can't be here anymore. I don't be this kind anymore! I gotta get out. I have to get out. Lift me out. Just pull me out. Just pull me out of here. I don't... That's okay. Hold on, buddy. Hey. You there? I just gotta pray. I know it sounds dumb. No. Doesn't sound dumb. Doesn't sound dumb at all. Let's just try to avoid another one of those, okay, buddy? I'm gonna need you to focus on your breathing. I know that sounds weird, but I need you to think about every breath you take, right? John? John? Hey, John, I need you to focus on your breathing. Okay, I know that sounds weird, 
And I need you to think about every breath that you're taking. Right? Just so tired. I know. I know. Just do some in and outs. It'll help. So that's how breathing works. How do you do it? Huh? Stay so calm. It just comes with a job. You just don't think. You've never been scared? I'm, uh... I'm a different case altogether, John. I'll be honest with you. How so? I... I just think you can't care what happens to you. You went down in this cave with me the entire time, and... helping me. <laughs> Trying to get me out of this hole. And... Man. Don't do that. Hey, I, I don't have a family like you, John. And what happened at Crandall Mines a couple years back, it just... just shook everybody. And to see families grow up without a... without a dad, just... makes you start thinking, well, why wasn't I there? We lost three rescuers that day, and they were good men, really good men. Why did I live? Eventually, you just got to go into these situations and tell yourself, well, if this is it, fine. It's my life now, and it's working for me. That's the worst idea I've ever heard. <laughs> I mean, it sounds cliche, but... <sighs> what good is life if you're just waiting to die? You yeah. know? <laughs> and I'm saying that from here. What are you doing to me, man? <laughs> I'm so tired. Yeah. <sighs> Fuente de la vida eterna y de toda bendición in salzarto gracias ten de todo corazón to be inotable si te le ten perdonar solo tu eres adorable Gloria ti debemos dar de los cánticos celestes te quisiéramos cantar en tus dardos por las huestes que viniste a rescatar De los celos descendiste, porque nos tuviste amor. Tierno de campanejiste, y nos hiciste tu favor. Man, I am rusty. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's the best I've ever heard. Seriously. Thank you. It's no problem, man.
Hey. You okay? Yeah. It's a, it's a good anchor. Let's hope it holds. Jones had trouble emotionally drained. Rescuers tried desperately to continue the recovery effort. Part of the problem is that the only real options we have are those that were employed yesterday. Rescuers bolted a pulley system into the rock for more leverage. And in the course of that, they have a raising system to hold him in position to a level spot where he's heading downhill with his head below his feet. Ready as we'll ever be. John, why don't you take a swig? It's coming down. Hey, and I want you to stay awake for me. About ready to pull you out of here. Well, we got a to-do list. We gotta hit the gym. When we get out of here, I guess you can take me to church. <laughs> Win for me. <coughs> and of all places to find out, you're having another baby. I wonder if this is what it feels like being inside of the womb. Well, you're probably on the right track. Congrats, though. You know what still blows my mind? I thought I had it all figured out. Beautiful wife, family, career. And What I learned? Uh, you want to know what it takes to be a real man? Uh, have a baby girl. <laughs> I've waited my whole life to feel this blessed. Comparing the dream to the way it is. Everybody's looking their very best Remembering times when they were just like this My imagination never felt so clear in it Now I know this is for real Your eyes divide me And your ways control my every mood And your face distracts my confidence in standing And I can't I say, not that doing it Stay awake for me. John? You there? We're about ready to pull you out. You with me on that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Wait. 
Can I talk to Emily first? They had to pull the cable back up or it might get caught in the rope. But she's here, John. She's, uh, she's with you. Okay? Okay. Can you promise me one thing? Yeah, anything. Can you promise to tell Emily that no matter what, I'll be there when the baby is bored? I thought we weren't going to talk like this, John. I know. Just promise me. Please. Yeah. Yeah, I promise. I promise. I'm going to get you out of here, John. Yeah. OK. Emily, it's time.
I'm sorry. I couldn't do it. It's okay, sweetheart. <coughs> John. <sighs> You've been pushing so hard for so long. Just rest a minute and take a break. And then you can push again later. Hello? Hey, can anyone hear me? Aaron, I got out. Hello? Come on. Got a name, little guy? Huh? You're a 
boy. You're, you're my boy. You're my baby boy. Hey, I'm your father. You saw it. You saw it all, didn't you? You saw how I, uh, tried to be a good example, tried to be a good person for you. How to love your mother and your sister. Oh, you're gonna love your sister. Yeah. You have to promise me something, okay? You're gonna be the man now. You need to, uh, you're gonna promise me that, uh, that you're gonna watch over them, okay? You gotta be strong. Cause I can't, I can't be there like I was before. And your mother, um, she deserves to be happy. All right, so, um, she needs someone that will love her like I did. Cause you need that in the home. You do. You and your sister need to, uh, need to see and feel love. The kind of love that your mother can give when she is the happiest. Because <laughs> there's no greater feeling in the world. <sighs> I'm so glad I got to meet you. I gotta get you out of here now. Yeah. It's my turn to watch you. stands to die Could I safety sacrifice Would I shout in hatred's face Would my lips cry out and stay
Just a ball. 